we were talking about class intervals class intervals can be categorized into three types number one is inclusive method number two is exclusive method and number three is open-ended classes open-ended classes so what is this inclusive method when you have class intervals wherein your upper limit in one class interval is the lower limit for the next class interval then that method is called as inclusive method of classification let us see how it will look like yes this is the example for inclusive method of class interval here if you notice your first class interval is 0 to 5000 so this is the lower limit whereas this 5000 is the upper limit so this is your first class interval whereas your second class interval is 5000 to 10000 so here what had happened here is what is the upper limit in your first class is lower limit in your second class so what happens because of this is that there is a continuity in the series of data I mean all the data were interlinked you are ensuring the upper limit of one data is the lower limit of the other data so that it is continuous in nature and this kind of class intervals is is what widely used in the practice the second method what we talked about is exclusive method exclusive method and here you have an example for that an exclusive method if you could notice you have your first class interval as 5 hyphen 9 whereas 5 is the lower limit and 9 is the upper limit 5 is the lower limit and 9 is the upper limit here what happens in your second class interval it begins with 10 and it ends with 14 so in this kind of class intervals what you are avoiding is overlapping see what happened in inclusive method in inclusive method the same data would be pr presented in this format like 5 to 9 then it will go to 9 to 14 then you will go to 14 to and so on so there was a overlapping in what is known as inclusive method but in exclusive this overlapping is avoided but this method cannot be used when the data which you are using is going to have decimals say for example you are going to collect the data related to height you are going to collect the data related to weight then in such circumstances you cannot afford to have this difference between 9 to 10 because each and every decimal counts so how or which method should be used whether you should go for inclusive classification or exclusive classification depends upon the variables that is available I mean whether the variables are continuous one or is it a discrete one in case of continuous variables we have to go for exclusive method and in case of discrete variable we have to go for inclusive method the third method was open end classes open end classes and you are seeing the example for open end classes what happens in open end class is that a class limit will be missing in the lower end of the first class interval I mean in the lower end of first class interval and in the upper end in the upper end of a last class interval so I'll write here lower end of first class interval and in the upper end of the last class interval you will be missing the limits if you look at this table the first class says it is below 2000 here this table does not give you what is the lower limit similarly this class the last class does not give you the upper limit it just says or it just talks about 8000 but it does not talk about the upper limit so this is an example for open end classes so these kind of uh, open end classes will arise in many practical situations especially relating to economic data medical data 
when you have very few high values or very very low values which are far apart from the majority of observations